Okay, how many we have left? Five. Nobody's near, we're good. Hurry up, get out. Get out. And you're left, buddy. Which way do you go? This way? Yeah. Let me through the door. Oh. What are you gonna say, you? I'm in shock, alright. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Okay. Ah, lag. Oh jeez, buddy. Oh jeez. Okay, now you're down. Boom. And I didn't you didn't do nothing, okay. So you weren't just shooting at me. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Of course. There we go. Easy, all you need is some multiple batterings. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Okay. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. Hmm. Oh. That's where he died. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. Oh, it's ice there. Okay, I didn't see that. Trail in 
evidence here. I should scan for more evidence. No, stop. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. Hmm. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Over there. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super cooled survival suit. Yep. Over here. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. That this part was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. Okay. The evidence oh, geez. The was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. Okay. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. Didn't he run over here? No, okay. Right here. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Jeez. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Oh, right here. There we go, we did it. <clears throat> Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo weapons program within God Corp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote God Corp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. Okay. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the pool and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. 
So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic super coolant to keep his core temperature sub zero. Okay. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. Hmm. Go figure. I didn't know that. <laughs> the super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. How to determine what created Mr. Freeze. Okay, it's just saving. Look at look how bat look at Batman. He's like, oh yeah, look at me. Okay.